Thank you very much, House Chair. Greetings to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Economic Freedom Fighters, President Julius Malema, the leader of economic emancipation movement here in South Africa, Africa and the world. The only leader who stands and leads from the front, fearless and committed to the struggle of the working class. The officials and members of the Central Command Team and Ground Forces of the only movement that remains at the forefront of black people's struggles against oppression, imperialism, and neocolonialism. Chair, it is a known historical fact that on the 21st of March, 1960, the PAC, under the inspired leadership of Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe, embarked on a national protest against the past system which the apartheid regime used to control the movement of African people in the territory called South Africa. In Sharpville, in Gauteng, the PAC was ably led by Nyakani Tsolo, and here in Cape Town, the protest was led by a young student from UCT, Philip Kosana. The leadership of the PAC had taken a firm stand to embark on a rolling mass program starting with undermining the past system, but which would eventually see the fall of apartheid by 1963. The racist apartheid regime, which had no legitimacy and no moral standing in society, responded by spraying black people with guns, killing 69 people and injuring almost 100 black people in Sharville. Chair, although this was 63 years ago, and although the apartheid regime has since legally fallen, the conditions that existed back then, which forced the PAC to take the route it took, and the nature of the state, have not changed much. Black people are still shackled by poverty, landlessness, unemployment, exclusion from educational institutions, heavy burdens of diseases, homelessness, lack of water, and other basic services. Chair, this is so almost three decades after the end of formal apartheid and the beginning of a new apartheid regime under the leadership of the formal liberation movement. The formal liberation movement has proven for all to see that their preoccupation was never to dismantle the key aspects of colonialism and apartheid, but merely to replace the white oppressor and exploiter with a black one. The new apartheid regime has continuously demonstrated where its loyalties lie over the past three decades. When Andres Tatani protested for basic water and other municipal services, the new apartheid regime sprayed him with bullets, just like the real apartheid regime had done before to black protesters. When workers in Marikana embarked on a strike to demand a living wage, this new apartheid regime sprayed those workers with bullets, killing 34 men who were sons, husbands and fathers to many children who have since been abandoned. When activists such as those belonging to our Tlali Basem Jondolo protest to assert their rights to housing, this new apartheid regime launched a targeted assassination project on the leaders, killing so many of them, including Lindogu Tlamguni, Ayanda Njila, and many others. Just this week, House Chair, when we as the Economic Freedom Fighters call on South Africans to go to the streets to protest against the deliberate corrupts of ESCOM, the rampant corruption, the escalating and out of control crime, the rape and murder of women committed with impunity by criminals, the criminality at the highest level of political office in the country as demonstrated by Palapal. This new apartheid government, true to its type, resorted to unleashing the security forces on unarmed and peaceful protesters. The ANC new apartheid regime has learned a lot from their white predecessors. In reality, there is nothing either in form or in content that differentiates the ANC regime from the apartheid regime that Robert Sobuka fought against in 1960. At the core, House Chair, the ANC are the true highest of the logic of apartheid. To them, black people are not deserving of dignity, of respect, and of basic human decency. As Robert Sobuka rose to stand up against that immoral and decaying regime in 1960, so will the economic freedom fighters stand up against the immoral, degenerate, decaying, and corrupt regime of the ANC and Mr. Ramaphosa. We will take to the streets to demand land, to demand houses, to demand jobs, to demand electricity, to demand water, and to demand dignity for all black people. We honor the souls of all those black people killed by whites in 1960, and of all those killed by black new apartheid regime post-1994. We will never get tired, House Chair, of fighting for the full freedom and emancipation of all African people in this country. I thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. The next speaker is the Honorable.